I have been very stubborn when it comes to stocking my pantry. Usually I just shelf cook, which is a method from Jordan Page. So when I make my meal plan, I always find what is in my pantry first and then make meals out of that. And I usually end up at the end of my one or two weeks meal plan with nothing in my pantry. I have recently changed my mind. And so I wanted to share with you the first part of my pantry stock. Now, this was really challenging for me because I'm really big on not wasting anything. So I wanted to make sure and get things that I knew we were going to use. Now this isn't necessarily like emergency food storage. It's more so just to help us save money. So buying things in bulk that I'm buying basically every time I get groceries, um, buying things that I know my kids will eat, that we will eat, just making sure that we're not wasting any food while trying to save money at the same time. Amazon does have some really good prices. I do not have Amazon Prime. I don't think that it's worth it. I have Walmart Plus, but I got all of this stuff on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this first part with you. Okay, here is our overview. We'll start right here. So not a whole lot of stuff, um, but because it is in bulk, this was about $120. So over here, I got this bow tie pasta. And of course, I didn't realize that the bow tie was going to be so small, but it's totally fine. But I like these packages because they're seven ounces instead of the big, like 16 ounce boxes. So these are better um, portion control, I guess you could say, because usually when I make pasta, I only make half a box anyway. So I figured this would be really good. So I got bow ties and I also got small macaroni to make mac and cheese. I figure with the bow tie, we will use these for like spaghetti things like that. I also went ahead and got some bulk taco seasoning. We have tacos all the time and so I wanted to go ahead and just get a bulk of um, seasoning and we will definitely use this up. I also picked up two of the two packs of the canned chicken. Um, these are good to use just like in a pinch or if we need um, just simple meats. I also picked up a pack of these uh, tuna pouches so these are the wild caught light tuna and water and these have 17 grams of protein per pack so these will be really good for my lunches or if my husband needs something for lunch or if we just need a quick dinner with some Velveeta cheese and some elbow macaroni um, we can just make up some tuna mac and cheese and so there's all kinds of different things that you can do with that throw an egg in it you've got tuna salad with crackers on a sandwich whatever so tuna is very versatile in my house and I know we will use it I also picked up three boxes of these three packs of the individual cheese pouches I got the pouches because I knew they would be more self stable shelf stable than the blocks um because you know the blocks you have to put back in the fridge if you don't use it all and so anyway i got basically nine pouches so for mac and cheese or really whatever else i need it for um i also got an eight pack of black beans we anytime i make like taco soup chili even tacos to make it stretch a little bit farther black beans are really good for that so i got an eight pack of those i also got two of the four packs of the french style green beans this brand was the most cost effective on Amazon. I know I can get it cheaper at Walmart, but honestly, I was already on there and I was like, I'm just going to get this because I know we'll use it. And we would much rather like to have canned green beans versus fresh green beans. So I also got two five pound bags of jasmine rice. I know for a fact we will use these. Rice is so versatile. You can use it on so many different things, mainly to make things stretch if you need it to. So um, two five pound bags of those and jasmine rice is our favorite. For the kids, I got some SpaghettiOs. This is a 12 pack of SpaghettiOs um, with meatballs and I know that they all love this. So this will last us quite some time. So I got some of that. And then also I got a big thing of ramen. So I got beef and chicken flavor. We love ramen. It's not nutritious whatsoever, but if you just need something to fill your belly, this is where it's at and it's super cheap. So this is part two of the pantry stock up. This one is a little bit different than the first one. So this is mostly pantry stuff, like as far as snacks goes, and then a few freezer things, and then just some things that we ran out of. So, so we needed some more kitty litter. This is the kitty litter that we use. If you have a cat, this one is amazing. Um, it is 
obviously long lasting. There's no dust. It absorbs really quickly and easily and it does not smell. Um, you'll know that it's time to change it when the crystals start turning yellow. Um, and I just really like it. I've used it with both of my cats. So Vibrant Life Crystal Cat Litter. And then back here I also got some Meow Mix for Roxy because we are getting low. Um, I got some of these Hershey miniatures. I love using these for the kids as an incentive for whatever, mainly for the baby. We're starting to potty train, so this is really good for her. Um, I have some icing in the fridge that I wanted to use, so I went ahead and just got a box of cake mix. This was a substitution. I ordered the great value. They gave me Pillsbury, which is fine. I paid the same price. Um, I got some crackers and things like that, so I got the Ritz toasted chips, some chicken and a biscuit, and then cheese it grooves. The sharp white cheddar is our favorite. We'll come back down here. I got some cookies, so some classic chippers, and then also the Great Value Oreos. The chippers is really good. It's really comparable to the Chips Ahoy. The Twist and Shout isn't quite like Oreos, but when you want an Oreo, it's a good option. I also got a couple more of these um, drink mixes. I've been getting the big, the big packets and using it in a gallon, um, and that's how the kids have been drinking their juice lately. The small packets were just getting just a little bit too expensive, so we're going to go back to this, and it's been working just fine. I ordered the Great Value Lemonade. They substituted with the Crystal Light, but it's fine. I also needed to restock on some stuff in the fridge, so got some more string cheese and Gogurt. This is the two things that I keep on hand all the time for the kids and their snacks in the fridge. Also got some lunch meat. This is the Honey Smoked. I thought that sounded good. Our favorite is the smoked and then also the mesquite smoked, but I wanted to try this. It just sounded good. I also got some cosmic brownies and oatmeal cream pies. And then back here, we got two bags of chips. So that's the cheddar and sour cream and then just the regular ruffles. Um, I also got the kids some animal cookies. This, this is the iced one. They, they're really loving the animal cookies and animal crackers recently. And it's a pretty cheap snack and you get a lot. Um, they're also been loving pretzels, so I got a bag of mini pretzels. Needed to restock their snack bins. My staples for their snack bins are really granola bars and fruit snacks. So that is what I got. I got the big packs of both, so 48 of the granola bars. And then I think there's 22 in each of these, so what is that, like 44 of the fruit snacks. I ordered the big box. They substituted with two of the smaller ones. Um, I also got some pancake mix. This pancake mix is amazing. You literally just add water. I've made pancakes a million times on my channel. So um, if you want to know how I make those, just go back through my what's for dinners, um, the recent ones, because I made them pretty recently. But my plan is to make a batch of these and put them in the freezer for just an easy breakfast when we need it. And then I also got a bag of cereal. This is uh, Fruity Dino Bites. My husband loves cereal. My kids love cereal. It's just an easy whatever we need it for even sometimes we even have cereal for dinner like it's just something easy and we haven't had cereal in a, little, in a long time because i've had ants in my kitchen and so i stopped buying it for a while so we're gonna try it again <laughs> um i also got a couple fruits that were easy to um, keep on hand and will last a long time in the fridge so i got some mandarin oranges and then also some pink lady apples these are looking a little questionable so we might have to eat those fairly soon but apples and oranges are definitely something that lasts a fairly long time in the fridge so i really try to keep those on hand i just haven't had them in a while also got some more light i can't believe it's not better i tried to go without this but honestly when i'm making like grilled cheese or even toast for the kids or whatever I really just need some kind of spreadable butter so I got some of that also got some more cottage cheese the highland low fat is our favorite and then I decided to get some freezer stuff just for like easy lunches or easy dinners whatever we need it for that's kind of the theme of for today just kind of stocking up on random things that we might need um so I got a big old bag of chicken nuggets these are the great value they are not the best tasting but this was the best bang for your buck. I got a ton for about $10, $11, I think. So not too bad. And then I also got a five pound bag of tater tots. My kids would much rather have tater tots than french fries. So I've been getting them tater tots a lot recently. And then I also got some of these mini tacos. These are the beef and cheese. I have never had these, um, but I'm, not, I'm probably going to eat them for lunch today, honestly. But 
I've got some of those and then I also got the kids some fish sticks. They love fish sticks. So I got them some of those. And then also another pack of the party pizzas. The three meat is my favorite. Went ahead and got a two pack of butter. I don't use butter all that often. Um, but I do like to have it on hand because sometimes I do use it. So this two pack of butter will last us quite some time, but anyway. And then we also just needed some more milk. So I got another thing of milk. Eggs went back down. Um, last time I went to buy 18 count of eggs, which was literally this weekend, this past weekend, it was over $5 for an 18 pack. Today they were 322. So I went ahead and picked up um, an 18 count and I'll use that for whatever I need it for, honestly. Um, but I just like to keep eggs on hand. It's a good source of protein. You can use it to bake with, whatever. Um, and then drinks, I got a 10 pack of these mini Diet Cokes. I like getting the mini ones because I tend to not drink a whole um, can of soda. Um, so I like getting the mini ones. And honestly, I don't drink soda all that often, but um, I recently ran out of my sparkling flavored water. And so I just wanted something else to keep on hand if I'm just craving like something bubbly. So I got a 10 pack of that. Also got my husband a big thing of Sam's Cola. This was 24 cans. I don't remember how much this was, maybe $8. But I know that when you buy like name brand soda, it could get expensive, like sometimes $11, $12 for a 24 pack. So the Sam's Cola is a good option. And then I also got a little thing of water. This will last us um, a, a few days. But I, we keep bottled water on hand because my husband goes to the gym in the mornings. And so when he is on the go, he takes bottled water with him. But any other time, we have an ice maker. So I just make ice and we fill up our waters through the sink. So anyways, that is our big um, part two of the pantry stock up video. The next time that I do a pantry stock up, I think I'm going to do um, like baked goods and just um, some more like pantry sides and whatnot so we'll just kind of have to see where we're at but mm -hmm.